Secretary Granholm, thank you so much for taking time to sit down with us and talk with us here at the Weather Channel. You bet, Dr. Knapp. Glad to be here. What sector of the U.S. economy do you focus on first, or maybe most, as we make the transition to cleaner energy production? First of all, you want to talk about generation, the generation of clean energy, and of course that's wind and solar, but you also want to talk about manufacturing and manufacturing the whole supply chain of being able to build the products that allow us to generate clean energy is a huge opportunity for us in this country. And it's one that we have sort of let go. We have not competed globally. We've allowed other countries to really, you know, eat us for lunch, frankly, in the, on the manufacturing side. The massive power outage that followed the winter weather recently, you know, very upsetting, you know, and, and, and to many people, you know, embarrassing for a, a technologically advanced nation to, to go through that yeah. kind of situation that caused more than 100 fatalities. How do we keep people from passing away in future weather events like that? I mean, we spend as a nation about $121 billion a year trying to clean up after these big weather events. When I say clean up, I'm talking about the repair and the damage that was created. That Texas uh, example of an extreme weather event in an unlikely spot is going to, as you know more than anybody, will continue to accelerate unless we get our handle on the way to reduce climate change. And so, you know, the president has uh, put forward the American Jobs Plan, and in that plan, he has got investments in the grid. Do you foresee that the way Texas operates relative to the rest of the country will change? Do they? need to have less independence? That's a question for Texas to answer. But I will say this, that there should be a way to get to yes, meaning to allow for the rest of the country to help Texas or each other during a climate emergency. How do you foresee the evolution of nuclear power as we make the transition to cleaner energy production? We need to make sure that we hold on to the nuclear power that we have because it is safe. We have a regulatory regime in the United States that ensures that it is totally safe. And we need to explore adding new nuclear to our energy grid as we get to these goals of 100% of clean electricity. What's the next big innovation in energy that makes you really excited, that you're really optimistic about? One of the things that I think is really exciting, and it sounds a little technical, but it's green hydrogen. And if you can manufacture hydrogen and separate it uh, using renewable energy, it can, it can be an enormous breakthrough. We've announced a big amount of effort on offshore wind. Some of the turbines, like for the West Coast and in some places on the East Coast as well, can be built. These are massive turbines and they can be built on floating um, platforms. And so some of that technology where you have more mobile, mobile turbines based upon where the wind is blowing and, you know, where the perhaps even where the commercial activity might be, you want to be able to have some flexibility. So that technology, I think, is very exciting. Harnessing as well. ocean wave energy as and well. And harnessing tidal energy. Maybe you have, you know, the waves, what a huge source of energy it is. And being able to harness that is absolutely a big part of what we're looking at.